my peeps, my goblins, how's it going? It is time for another episode of Retro Time, The Legend of Dragoon, with this guy right here, that GM guy. I'm looking a little prettier today than I normally do. Got my beard all done. I've got my hair all up and everything. Doing an awesomeness. So, we've done a shit ton of grinding. I'm talking like six, seven hours worth, uh, including an entire stream where we just listened to some grooving music and killed a lot of things. I mean, I'm not surprised if it was kind of a genocide kind of thing. Um, but no, now we're we're gonna go. We're gonna continue on, do some more things. So here we are in Kashua Glacier, slaughtering all of the pretty icicle men, the penguins. I have been informed there is a Surf's Up Penguin movie, which uh, I now must watch because apparently it is objectively terrifying. Terrible, terrible. There we go. Uh, I do blame Kongol, as the beer Jesus says. We blame Kongol for the extinction of many species, mostly because he eats so much. Have you seen him? Dude's got to eat a lot to keep those muscles going, right? Like, just my opinion mostly, but I think he must eat a ton. Um... I had to focus for a moment. We almost have Omni Sweep maxed out. We had Mary's Cool Boogie maxed out. She also got to level uh, 5 Dragoon, which is awesome. So right now, we're working on Omni Sweep for Hashel, and that's what I was waiting for. Level 5 Dragoon for Kongol. Gorgeous. It means we're actually going to swap him out for Albert, because Albert is a lot stronger. Sorry, Kongol. He is... Okay. Alright, so... The only person we have left to work on is going to be Miranda. And the only thing she has to work on... Well, I mean, like, we have Meru's uh, Dragoon... Sorry, additions to work on. She still only has Cool Boogie. Ooh. Scary bees noises. Monster, don't know coldness. Monster, only knows to kill. Sorry. I, I, I need a better Kong Gold voice, I think. I think they're trying to get you to better identify with the latecomers to your party, because those were all latecomers to the party. The only one that isn't a latecomer was Meru, like, who isn't there that's a latecomer is Meru. No Rose, no Albert, just those guys. That is the creepiest asshat I have ever seen. All right, when when to go? Let's do this. Beautiful. This thing only has ten thousand health, and I just held a thousand of it like it was no big deal. Yup. And of course, we're going to turn into dragoons, where we're going to take next to no damage from this thing. And just beat the shit out of it because we can. And I can almost guarantee you that, like, we're going to do more damage doing basic additions for, La for uh, I almost said Lavitz, for Albert than we are in Dragoon form. Punch him. Punch him good. So we're at, we're at 10 out of 100 right now. That's what we're going with. Right? So we're at 18 out of 100 right now. Beautiful. That's 25. We're a quarter of the way there already. Three attacks in. Oh no, I think this is going to hurt. <laughs> yep, 26 damage. It hurt a lot. Don't worry about it. Yeah. 
Yeah, so I do more damage using Albert's Edition than I do his Dragoon form. That's 34. Yeah, that 26. Oof, it's rough. How much was that? 96. Oh no. Alright, we're at 42. No worries, my friend. No worries. Meetings are important. Uh, we'll do 75 single. Yeah, we'll do 75 single. So we're at 34. We're at 42 right now. 42 out of 100. Um, and we've lost a little over 100 health ourselves. That's good. How much damage are you going to be? Ooh, 16. So that is, what, 58? Yeah, 58. Alright, he's already in the yellow. Let's We're going to hit him with another final burst, because that's just a lot of damage. Right? We're just absolutely destroying this guy. Uh, so 65. Let's go right right now. Ooh, he might do a field spell. Nope, it wasn't a field spell. That actually will hurt a little bit. Oof, that uh, that is painful for Hashel. But that's why I gave him the Dragon Helm, so he has an extra 50% HP. This was like 73. I, I forget where I was at like right now, but we'll call it 73. Just absolutely obliterating this guy. Hashel is taking the decent brunt of the attacks, cause just cause like, oh, oh, more physical damage. I do want to know what happened to the Windigo that he's missing an arm. Like, what is that? enjoying this. I don't think he's actually going to be able to take me down to anywhere yellow. <laughs> it was good jerky, that's what it was. Kongol ate the arm, it was really good jerky. 540, what? Did I choose the wrong magic? I think I chose the wrong magic and used the weak one. I just wasn't really paying attention. Why would you eat Hashel? He's the dirty old man. It's just gross. It might hit us. Are, are, are you serious? Yeah, he used Final Burst previously. Yeah, I think I used Explosion that time. I'm just going to kill him. Like, I'm aware it's going to hurt Hashel, but I really don't care. He's in dragon uniform right now. This isn't going to hurt him very much. Well, that wasn't very nice of you. Yeah, I used explosion, so we'll, we'll use explosion again. It'll probably kill everything. Hopefully it kills everything. I hope it does. Explosion! Oop. Beautiful. Just throwing him out like he's trash. It's not very nice of you. 
He took a lot of damage there, though. Like, I did hurt, I did hurt him a lot. What, the Wendigo or, like, him eating people? It's like, ah, oh, I, I, just, I just don't like that you can see his heart beating. No creature should evolve to have its heart on the outside of its chest. That is terrible. Freaking Hashel's just getting owned, man. He might even be in the red by now. He's not quite in the red. Okay. There we go. Yeah. I mean, I'm terrified to imagine an entire race of these things, because that would be a whole lot of them. But you can tell it was only a mini-boss, because, like, Dart didn't de-transform and try to kill him. Freaking Dart, and always trying to get the last hit, right? Some brass knuckles. Okay. We did not barely defeat it. We absolutely destroyed it. Oh my god, that's so annoying. Oh, when to go virage. That would be absolutely awful. I don't want to imagine that. It sounds absolutely terrifying. And yeah... Um, so Hacky Press, we could totally, we, we could totally roleplay the, the figuring out what the swords are for Tuck, if he, if he does live that long. Um, there we go, and then... So we are going to replace Albert with the only person who has had no training in Dragoon levels. And that's Miranda. And she's just going to be solidly plucking away with her arrow, and that's about it. Alright. Got to rebuild them Dragoon levels. Bit too slow on that one. I actually probably should have blocked with him. I should I should not have attacked. Oop! Does he get knocked out? No, he doesn't. Damn. Hello. Not a whole much. Not that. Not a whole much is up. Apparently, that's. Exactly what I meant to say. Not a whole much is up. <laughs> Not a whole lot is up. How about you, my friend? Stinky breath. What a stinky boy. Should really wash, wash, brush his teeth. That's what he should do. He should be brushing his teeth all the time. Finally getting some progress done, um, which is good. Ash was really low because I may have hit him a few times uh, with over like 1300. Ah. I mean, like Hacky Press, your new rogue Tuck is not just a rogue, he's also a cleric. He's got some of that sweet, sweet healing magic, so it's good. Oof, that was close. But no cigar. You got a new 3DS? Nice. Stunning hammer. I suppose we'll take it. We kind of have to. It's just going right into our inventory. Alright. Away! To the Great White North. The... Oh, this place is Canada. Yep, that's the Tower of Flanville. <laughs> it's a swirl! Yes, Meru, it's a swirl. According to the legend, it's the Wingley's floating fort during the Dragon Campaign. You, Rose, we know you were alive during the Dragon Campaign. We know that you saw it.
Dude, Mario RPGs are some of the best there that can possibly happen. The original Mar like Mario RPG was the bomb. A life or death matter for all of endiness. Yep. Gotta beat the crap out of Lloyd. That's fair. Suppose I can't carry any more items. Whatever. Be a jerk. Doesn't matter to me. You are very limited on the number of items you can carry in this game, which sucks. Spirit ring. Yeah. Okay. So, can we... Give him a good old Schuston. That is a really short skirt to be wearing in this weather. Just putting it out there. Yeah, Hashel still needs to heal up a lot. Not quite. Not quite there. She does 69 to the dangly ball. That's low-hanging fruit right there. That is super low-hanging fruit. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna grab it. This is where we go. We go zap. At least I think we go zap this way. I'm not... Oh. This place. I'll actually have to read the book. Dude, that is absolutely cool. I'd be super down with that. Alright, we're going this way. I don't know why the Wingleys required physical teleportation devices when they could just as easily teleport themselves. Okay, so we're going this way. All right, there we go. We're heading up. That was not as combat heavy as I anticipated. The moon mirror is in there. Ooh. Hey, Avi, thanks for the cheer. Didn't quite scare me. Uh, someone's already tried that today. I, I, I've been prepared for it ever since. Cornered Lloyd. You see, you say that, but dude can friggin' teleport. How are you supposed to corner a man who can friggin' teleport? Alright, Miranda, I know your time with me was short, but you go back in the thing now, okay? Bye bye. Alright, we're gonna save real quick. She's only allowed to come out for grinding purposes, and that's about it. I don't want Miranda in a boss fight. I will. I would probably still win hands down, but it'd be really annoying to do so. All right, let's do this. We're gonna take on a Lloyd. All right, so the plan here is to expect the game to crash again.
Yeah, it crashed. Okay. So we're going to go. I'll, I'll be right back, folks. We're All right, here we go. We're going to hope to God that it's not, like, overpoweringly loud as soon as it starts up again. So, hello again, peeps. I really wish this just didn't crash so often. It would, it's just it's so super, super shitty. All right. I'm also very glad we literally just saved, because that would be annoying as balls. Let's quickly go through and re-equip for some new stuff, because I know stuff happened. Abby, I have no idea what you mean by a skateboard day. None whatsoever. Instantly kills the enemy with great given probability. That is insane. All right, there we go. Uh, no, we're not grinding. We, we were grinding a little bit, uh, but right now we're, we're doing some story stuff. We're hopefully going to kill Lloyd. Just stab him right in the guts. Haha, -ha, it worked this time. Beautiful. I do want to know how exactly that's a mirror. The queen moved out of the way. Smart queen. The evolutionary plan created by the great will, Soa. Utopia created by the last species. That's... Yeah, it's a plan based on... Evolving. Alright, we're gonna take him out. You know, it's a serious fight when that music is going on. So he's got 6,900 health. That's how much he has. And hopefully we get to kick his ass. That sweet, sweet damage Hashel's putting out. We've got him like almost a third of the way already. The wingly magic crystals are coming to kill us.
Dude's only a little powerful, just a bit. Oh my god, 960 damage. And he, of course he gets a second turn, that's fine, that's cool, whatever. That's not a big deal, right? Second stage, third stage. 1200 damage to Hashel. What the shit? gonna block and hopefully heal up a little bit. Nice. And I'm also glad I'm not using the Dragoon because that's the Dragon Buster sword. It would just destroy me. Like three quarters of the way there already. Storm. All right, and this should be able enough to finish him off right here if I get it right. I didn't get it right. I'm not going to finish him off. Damn it. Oh, he's going to do the supreme magic thing that's going to do like 960 damage to Hashel again and essentially destroy him. I really hope Hashel doesn't die from the like quick two in a row attack he's about to do. Stupid wingly magic. Ouch. Oof. Yeah, that is an ouch. That's okay, though. Yep, didn't have to use a single potion. Beautiful. <sighs> Always feels good when you can be a difficult boss like that. <laughs> this is like Dart showing a remarkable improvement because he got his ass kicked in the tournament last time. And avenging his best friend. <laughs> UFC guy survived. That's a good one. Dramatic moment time. Time to finally avenge. an innocent woman. One of the two, apparently. That's those are our options. Oops.
Oof. Right? Give the poor woman a fucking healing potion already, please. Please? It would solve a great deal. His death would solve a great deal of problems I have right now. Lloyd's going to do the honorable thing and settle up. <laughs> Fucking punches him so hard he bounces. <laughs> That's right, the grown, responsible, mature thing to do is see your fucking mistakes through to the end. It's exactly what's gonna happen with Lloyd. He deserves it. He deserves to see what, what his actions have actually caused. I like how Darch just left his sword there though. <laughs> it's like it's The animator just left it there like he doesn't need it. He doesn't need a sword. He's just going around punching people. He's Hashel 2.0 now. That's what's happening. So good. It's gonna be punchy dart. The punchiest. The He's not one punch man because Lloyd didn't die, but he's close. Right, he still has the woodsman's axe. That's that that's true. He still has the woodsman's act, axe from, see, from the first one, so like, we're gonna go slice people up with a woodsman's axe. So Kongul Jr., yeah, he's Kongul Jr. I mean, I kind of get the idea, like, he really wanted to do something visceral to Lloyd. He wanted to actually punch him and, like, feel the violence in his own hands to kind of take out the rage. But he could have just hit him with the butt of a sword. Or the, or, the, or the wood axe, or whatever. He could have literally just beat him with something else that would have been a little more poignant than just punching him. Although, to be fair, at this point, Dart's pretty fucking physically strong. He's a beast. They're there to escort the queen and the sisters. And she's still alive somehow. Even though that blow was literally meant to kill Lloyd, Dart was able to pull back and not kill him. Not kill Wink. So good. Acquired the moon mirror. And the moon dagger. And the moon gem. 
We also acquired Lloyd, but that's like, I suppose that borders too much on real creepy to say. All right. Omni sweep's almost done. Yeah, Meru's got Cat's Cradle. Ah, oh, so good. So, Meru is officially going to be part of our party for a little while. Um, we have 20 Omni sweeps left, and then Hashel's done. So, life is good. All right, so we have the awesome power right there. We do have to go through Snowfield slash Fort Magrid, um, and then we're gonna hit up, what's it called? Words and things. Uh, we're gonna hit up Velweb, and then after that, we're probably gonna head down to Lohan to pick up one or two more items, depending on how much gold we have. Um, but this is already going on real long, so we'll finish up this fight, and we'll say goodbye to my YouTube peeps for a bit. I'll probably do a lot of the traveling, um, off-screen, or, I don't know, I'm not sure yet. We'll decide in a few minutes. But yeah, I could really use... I don't suppose I don't have to go back to Lohan. I literally... I can literally go do it real quick. Like, I need the armor of legend. That's what I need. That is one hell of a combo. It's super fast. Run away! Alright, so I've decided I'm gonna, after this YouTube video, I'm gonna go buy the stuff, uh, or buy at least one set of the stuff, and you guys will see me on the next stream already, or on the next little bit, already with the items in question, my YouTube peeps. So, we're, we're gonna do that right quick, I think. After this fight, after we kick this penguin's ass. Sorry, penguin, you gotta die. Beautiful. All right, so to all my YouTube folks out there in YouTube land, have a fantastic day, my goblins, full of amazing adventures and all the fantasticness. Bye.